Good. All right, go with questions, guys. So you seemed uh, not very happy over there at the end. Care to elaborate? I just, it's spirited play that crosses lines. And uh, again, I'd rather coach a team back than forward. This team is, especially in the O line and D line, we're playing with edge. And when you play with edge, there's potential for emotions to get the better of us. And uh, I thought we had a pretty good day, honestly, with that. At the end, we crossed lines. And for me, in the moment, it's both teaching the the response as a mechanism of winning football to not go across the lines so that we're not drawing penalties, so that we can allow the opponent's lack of discipline to, to be an advantage for us. Um, it's also about de-escalation to me. Like this is, we're going hard at each other. We want to practice a certain way, a certain style. We have to, to get better. But um, in the moment where things are, the temperature's rising, we need to be able to listen to our leadership, de-escalate, and continue without any issues. And that was the last play of practice, no matter what. Um, but uh, it was just an opportunity to address those things. How would you say the edge of this team compares to your first two? Well, I think we're deepening in our identity, and that means our ed edges are a little sharper. I mean, um, and that's not negative towards anything that was before. It's just the nature of being one year further along and um, in a process where we're paying attention to our competitive personality. And I also think just the guys that have that have been here with us now for three years, it's on their hearts to, to go out and achieve something together. And so they're fighting for it every single day. And again, I think the, the tone is set for us in our offensive line and defensive line. And we've got a ton of respect with how, for how those guys have approached um, their work. How do you discipline in a spot like that? Do you? Is, it, is there consequences for someone that does something that would get a flag in a game? Or is that just a you talk to them and you come to an understanding? Or is that just something to keep private? Well, no, I, I, I think we address those. To me, it's just lapses in discipline. And again, I, we've had this in our time here together where that's, that's bled into the field. How you train is how you play. So for us, it's recognizing the, the emotion that triggered the response or the reaction. It's, it's building in awareness and buffer to where we can, we can respond with purpose and intention rather than just react emotionally. Um, those are all conversational. You know, uh, obviously I spoke to the group and I addressed the individuals directly. You know, if we got to a point where we weren't able to practice because this stuff was coming up, then obviously we would have to have people held out of practice. But the, the you know, ultimately it's about training. It's about learning. Um, today we just faltered at the end there. And again, I think that has nothing to do. It was a beautiful day. It wasn't heat. It wasn't, you know, tired. It was two guys on the edge and just um, kind of actions escalated. But um, you have to earn the right to train. And if we weren't able to get through because someone wasn't able to control their emotions, then we would hold them out of training. Coach, referees were here today. Didn't see a ton of mistakes in terms of flags thrown. What, what did you think about the mistakes uh, today? Well, we had, a, we had a couple procedural penalties. Um, we had two on offense for sure, one on defense. It was costly. Um, and the officials give us the opportunity to see those in real time. We had a substitution issue on offense. So th they're there. Um, you would expect that on practice five. We got to clean up our process. Um, but the officials help us learn that now rather than August 26th. You know? So um, on the whole, I feel like we are getting cleaner, and obviously, as you go deeper into camp, there's more in, so there's more to execute. Who are your captains and leadership council this year? Well, right now we have two captains named, um, Ethan and Jalen Mahoney, and um, and then you know we have basically they're a part of a ten-man team leadership group, um, who you guys have spoken with, you know, up to this point in practice. I think you got the two two left here, and that'll be the ten. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have another captain vote um, on the back end of camp, and so we'll add to that too. But really, those ten guys are going to be um, central to you know our journey as a team, and guys I'll lean on for that player leadership throughout the season. Back to discipline. That when I'm watching you guys go through drills and practice, and what's been really bad hand at times, I'm not seeing a lot of hands on the hips or, or sloppy mistakes. Uh, is that how you size it up? That's our culture. Um, 
you know, that's that's what we ask of each other. Um, and, you know, from our perspective, it can always improve. So we have to, we have to, again, deepen our commitment to our identity. Identity is not something that'll show up for us on Saturday. It's something we have to commit to every day. Um, and the, the further we go in that commitment, the sharper our edges will be by the time we're playing. And that's, you know, when that identity is sharp, you have a chance to pierce the, the outer shell of your opponent and get to the soft center. And just, you know, we have to understand that is our formula. And um, certainly, again, this team is further along because of the work that team one and team two do. Do you have any updates on Grayson Morgan and Mahoney? Um, Mahoney's soft tissue. And so it'll just be a matter of, again, giving enough time to heal um, for him to return. I don't expect that to be long, but also with those, you know, you just you never want to place a, a date on it. Grayson, I think, did a little work today. Um, I would expect him to be kind of gradually working his back, way back. Mahoney will be a little longer. You know, Grayson um, could, could be available to scrimmage. I guess we're going to see how it responds over the next couple of days. What do you think of Leighton Nelson's, uh, Nelson's camp so far? He's he's grown a ton. I mean, I, we were excited about Leighton. We, we knew that he... Um, you know, in the spring that he was stepping into higher levels of performance. Um, he's continued that. I see confidence in him. I see a comfort in a good way where he's settled kind of into the team and um, Coach Blazik and the role within the team. And so he's got to keep coming, but he's a talented young player that's big and physical and athletic. Um, and so, um, you know, it's been exciting to watch him continue his progress. It looks interesting today. Ball was in the air. You had, a, had the offense making a lot of plays. You had the defense make some too. How did you size up maybe which side won when the yeah. ball was in the air today? Well, there was back and forth, and when we have a good practice, you want to you want to see that back and forth. Um, there are times with, and I, obviously I'm always going to be a little biased towards the defense. There's times when late in the rush, we're we're protecting the cylinder, and so we're not impacting the throw down the field. Um, and I think we've done a nice job of that, getting the ball off. Um, but we got to make sure that we're firm in protection through the tire to the down. I think early in camp, the offense was ahead. Um, I think in the last couple of days, the defense is battling back. And again, our formula is is, um, is not to allow the explosive touchdown that happened today a couple of times. That's a testament to our, the skill we're developing on offense, the play of the quarterback, the protection on the offensive line. But we have to have someone in position to cap those to make the offense go the long, hard way. That's kind of our our philosophy and our mindset. And so we'll have to correct the structural issues there. But on the whole, I think we're getting to a balance point where we're, you know, in a good competitive mode. Can you just speak to like how good of a camp Will Shepard has had, especially him today? Yeah, I mean, I think he's he's stepped into another level of training for us, and I'm proud of him. I mean, I, I see a lot of growth and maturity. Of course, he's been. He's battled injuries, and so um, he's always been tough, and he's always had an attitude of, you know, a competitive attitude that we love. But what I see is just his, he's in the grind every day. And I think he and BJ Anderson are going hard at each other, and um, they're learning about themselves, and they're growing. But I, um, yeah, Will, Will, I think, has had a really nice camp, and I'm, I'm excited to see him continue um, you know, that growth move forward. It's an example of someone who's growing late in his career. Coach, how would you assess the tight end room as you stand right now? Pleased with a JB. I think he's he's really shown um, some positive uh, growth, both in the pass game and in the run game. Um, and from there, you know, we have Logan, who um, I'm excited to watch scrimmage. I think he's flashed. I think he's shown a willingness to be physical. Um, you know, Chris has been a nice addition where he's – He's come in and he's still learning, but um, you know he's been able to to show up and take some quality reps for us. And then um, you know our two young players, uh, two freshmen, Cam and, and JP, both have flashed at times. JP's going to be nursing a little bit of a back spasm here. Thought Cam had some nice snaps today. I, I know he had a procedural penalty, but we have big aspirations for those two guys. I think growing them in that tight end room and Cole Spence is a part of that too where he needs to mentor and grow them and then I would be not true to myself if I didn't mention Gabe Fisher because 
who doesn't love a fullback from NBA? So, um, no, Gabe, Gabe has um, also um, just been such a soldier and, and a warrior with us, so we're, we're happy to have him. I think it's a great room from a personality and a culture standpoint. I think they're sharpening the ax and um, excited to see where they go. Well, Good. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.